think we're talking about or around issues of uh, value. We're thinking about how we can give the same amount of, maybe not equal value, but the same amount of attention and care and awareness to another object that may not have, uh, let's say, the charged life power that we have. We've raised uh, some questions about technique, um, how our bodies are mechanically functioning. Uh, we've talked about some things around uh, this like techno vibe club scene, which also, uh, I guess, techno technology technique, they're all coming somehow together. And I think as we get to know robots, uh, we also learn that we also have something valuable to give as well, so it's like a shared, a shared communication. For me, it's been a super interesting experience to um, observe these spheres we are working with um, and I think I've been uh, focused a lot on what I can learn from them in terms of um, how they are moving and I've kind of explored them as a way that um, gets me excited about movement. In terms of agency, I mean agency was a big um, topic throughout this week um, and I think there's loads to reflect on like I mean if I'm if I'm learning from this object from this sphere then already this this idea who's an agent is kind of destabilized um, because I can make choices of how I'm going to move in relation to this object, but I can't, right now, can't influence this object myself. Um, the, the, the two agents at play are not in an equal relationship of where I do something, this object does something. So that's also um, something I'm thinking about a lot. To perceive as a, as a brick, um, helped me to um, maybe think how one could be otherwise um, in space. You can compare humans and robots on so many levels that it's sometimes um, it's so easy to, to just try to imagine yourself being a robot or trying to imagine that a robot becomes a human. But I think the real challenge is to not do so, to not being a robot or being a human and um, try to more or less to learn from the other agent and try to expand yourself by um, learning from the other agents. So and I would really like the robots to <laughs> accept human dancers as being partners that have simply other skills. And by acknowledging that, that robots are not humans and humans are no robots, we might gain a deeper understanding of each other and we might convey that with our peace in the end.